वेलकम बैक एक्सरसाइज 6.2 द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इज इफ एंगल ए ओ बी इज सिक्सटी डिग्रीज एंड रेडियस इज ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर्स फाइंड एरिया ऑफ सेगमेंट ए एच बी यू इवन नीड नॉट ड्रॉ दिस फिगर इफ यू ड्रॉ द फिगर इट इज गुड बट नॉट नेसेसरी ओके बिकॉज यू नो द एंगल यू नो द रेडियस डायरेक्ट सब्सटीट्यूशन ऑफ फॉर्मूला एंड यू विल गेट दैन आंसर please pause your video here and solve this theta is 60 degrees and radius is 12 cm substitute in the formula and find out the area of segment this is the first example of your 6.2 please pause your video the answer is 13.08 If you got this answer, this answer is wrong. Why? Because though the numericals are correct, numbers are correct, you are not written the unit. So don't forget to write the units. Let us go to the next example. Now here they are given one figure. ABCD is a square with side eight centimeter each. A, B, C, D, and eight centimeter. That means all the sides are eight centimeters. Calculate the area of shaded region. They are given this. They have connected the diagonals, and now connected these two arcs, and they are asked for the area of this shaded region. Now this is square. Sides are all sides are eight. So can you see? I'll just see only one. sector this one and if i forget this if i forget this what i get what i get i get one segment with the radius 8 and angle 90 degrees and on the opposite side this segment was on the opposite side which will be exactly equal so find the area of one segment multiply by 2 because there are two segments one and two when i just rub down so find out this segment area multiply by 2 because there are two segments so and you will get the answer please pause your video here and solve this question the answer is Area is equal to two into eighteen point twenty four. That is thirty six point forty eight centimeter square. Don't forget to write the units in case of problems. If units are not given, still you have to write the unit. If the units are not given, you should write unit square. Okay. Let us go to next example. Now in this case, one segment is given. the figure is given of one segment center of circle with the radius 18 the radius is given 18 now in this case in the third example radius is given 18 cm if the area of pqr so in the third example radius is given 18 cm area of triangle pqr is given area of triangle pqr is given that is 100 cm square area of segment qxr this is x area of segment qxr is given as 13.4 cm square you have to find the central angle theta very easy example you have to just substitute in the formula r is known area of triangle is known area of segment is known you have to just find out the theta please pause your video and solve this example now in this case if you are trying to put these values in this formula you are wrong why because simpler way is 
you know that this complete PQXR is a sector and what is the formula for sector area of sector is equal to theta by 360 into pi r square correct and do you know what is the area of sector is yes the area of triangle plus area of segment is area of sector so area of sector you know addition of these two r you know 18 which is given only theta is unknown so if you are not solved by this method and wrongly you have substituted here then please correct the way pause your video and solve by this method do it now please in this case answer theta is equal to 40 degrees let us solve 6.2 example number 4 this is an interesting example let us draw the figure first whatever they are given there is one circle here is the center A now as radius is 6 now what they have done now they have taken these two sides as the sides of regular hexagon so I am drawing regular hexagon here so now what we have we have this regular hexagon we have this sector we have this segment we have this triangle okay now they have shaded this area I am drawing it by different pen because uh, I am not drawing a very big thing okay and this is completely shaded area now what they are asked let us see first of all they name this figure C D E F now in this figure you have got hexagon so first of all you should know the information about hexagon hexagon has a uh, six sides if it's a regular hexagon then the all sides are length of all sides are equal so this is the regular hexagon of side six centimeters they are given here so we know about let us see about hexagon so now what is the area of hexagon area of hexagon is 3 root 3 by 2 into side square what is the internal angle of hexagon this is the internal angle of hexagon any internal ang angle of hexagon is of 120 degrees now what they are asked they have asked find the area of segment BPF we have to find the area of segment and area of shaded portion this is the area of shaded portion completely that means if you find out the area of complete hexagon and if you subtract this triangle area of triangle then you will get the area of complete shaded portion so what we should have we should have the area of hexagon area of segment and area of triangle okay area of hexagon can be easily found out by this formula only side square is there 3 root 3 upon 2 side square we have to find the area of segment area of segment formula is very clear but here the angle is 120 degrees and you don't know the value of sine 120 correct so you cannot even uh, find out the area of this segment directly but we know other method for finding out what if at all we have to find out the area of triangle you know area of sector by this formula here no sine cos are involved so we can find out the area of sector minus area of triangle is area of segment and area of hexagon minus area of triangle is area of this complete shaded region okay so let us find out area of this triangle first how will you find out area of this triangle 1 upon base into height you don't know base 
you don't know height so first of all draw a perpendicular from a on this chord when i draw a perpendicular from this chord what happens it will bisect the chord a perpendicular from the center of a circle on the chord bisects the chord in this bigger triangle this bigger triangle is isosceles triangle opposite sides these two sides are equal so must be opposite angles are also equal correct what is the addition of three angles of a triangle 180 degrees we know this is 120 these two are same so 2b plus 120 is equal to 180 so b is equal to 30 degrees since b is 30 f is also 30 isosceles triangle so now we have got 30 and 30 Now this is thirty, sixty, ninety triangle. Since this is ninety, this is sixty. This is also sixty. Correct. Now it is very easy. What is this height? What is this angle? Thirty. So what is sine thirty? Let us uh, name here A M. So now what is sine thirty? A M upon hypotenuse. So. Sine thirty is a m upon six, and what is sine thirty is nothing but one upon two is equal to a m upon six. So what is a m is equal to three. Now we want to find the base. We know that these two sides are equal. So if you can find out this, this is easy. Double of that. How will you find out this? We have taken sine thirty. Now we will take cos thirty. Cos thirty is equal to this B M upon six. But what is cos thirty? Cos thirty is nothing but root three by two is equal to B M upon six. So B M is three root three. Now we have got the B M is three root three. So what is B F? Twice of it. So B F six root three. Now you know height, you know base. You can easily find out the area of this triangle. So now it is very easy to find out the area of this triangle. It is nothing but one upon base into height. Base we know six root three. Height we know three. So area of triangle is one upon base into height. You can easily find out. So now let us find out the area of triangle. i will just write this uh, details there am is equal to 3 and bf is equal to 6 root 3 now please pause your video here and find out the three areas first is area of is this hexagon whereas s is 6 second area of triangle you have to find out the area of this triangle abf that is half base that is bf into height you know what is bf you know what is am you can find out the area of this triangle and third thing you have to find out area of sector you have to find out the area of this complete sector bpf this sector you have to find out abpf okay just pause your video here and calculate these three areas area of hexagon we have got 
93.42 सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर एरिया ऑफ सेक्टर वी आर गॉट थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट सिक्सटी एट प्लीज चेक यूर आंसर वी आर गॉट द एरिया ऑफ एक्सागॉन एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल एरिया ऑफ सेक्टर ऑलरेडी सी वॉट दे आर आस्ट दे आर आस्ट एरिया ऑफ सेगमेंट बीपीएफ एरिया ऑफ सेगमेंट बीपीएफ दिस हाउ यू फाइंड आउट एरिया ऑफ सेक्टर माइनस एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल is the area of same uh, segment bpf then they are asked the complete shaded area area of the shaded region how will you find out first of all the area of hexagon minus area of triangle this minus this and segment is this minus this stop your video please pause and finish this sum and check your answer thoroughly So here we are finishing exercise 6.2. Thank you.